सो वेलकम एवरी वन वेद यू आर जस्ट स्टार्टिंग योर एम बी बी एस जर्नी और प्रिपेरिंग फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन एग्जाम्स लाइक नीट पी जी आई एन आई सी टी वॉट एवर दिस लेक्चर विल गिव यू अ कंप्रेंसिव अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इसेंशियल फॉर योर मेडिकल प्रैक्टिस सो यस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एनाटॉमी अपेंडिक्स सो द एडल्ट अपेंडिक्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड ऑन एन एवरेज इट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली नाइन टू टेन सेंटीमीटर इन द लेंथ which is arising from the posterior middle wall of the cecum approximately 3 cm below the ilocecal wall although the relationship of the base of the appendix to the cecum essentially is constant right here the base is constant the remaining part of the appendix is free so which accounts for the variable location in the abdominal cavity the appendix may lie in retrocecal subsecal retroileal प्री आइलियल और इन अ पेल्विक साइट दिस वेरिएबिलिटी इन लोकेशन मे ग्रेटली इन्फ्लुएंस द क्लिनिकल प्रेजेंटेशन इन द पेशेंट विद अपेंडिसाइटिस सो वी विल डिस्कस दिस इन द सब्सिक्वेंट लेक्चर और मे बी वी विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स इन द सेम लेक्चर सो हियर वी हैव द अपेंडिक्स कैन यू सी दिस पार्ट येस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द मीजो अपेंडिक्स एंड द मीजो अपेंडिक्स दैट इज मिजेंट्री ऑफ द अपेंडिक्स येस इट इज शॉर्ट and triangular and variable in the shape now it is extend to the whole length of the appendix and the appendicular vessels pass through the free margins of the meso appendix right so this is the meso appendix now before going to start with the blood supply of the appendix let's talk about the parts of appendix so there are three parts that is the base body and the tip so here we have the base and it is attached to posterior middle wall of the cecum and about 2 meter below the ilocecal junction then here we have the body and we can see that the body is narrow tubular and contains a canal which opens into the cecum and this opening is guarded by an incomplete mucus fold and what it is called as yes the wall of gerlach okay now this is the tip and it is a least vascular structure in this uh, appendix and is directed in various directions why yes because it is free so this is the parts of appendix now let's talk about the blood supply so blood supply is mainly by the appendicular artery which is a branch of inferior division of the ilocecal artery let's talk about this in detail so here we have superior mesenteric artery which is arising from the abdominal aorta this superior mesenteric artery will going to form a new branch that is the ileocolic artery now ileocolic artery is having two branches look over here so this is the superior division of the ileocolic artery and we have the inferior division of the ileocolic artery now inferior division of the ileocolic artery will give three more branches that is the appendicular artery posterior cecal artery and anterior cecal artery so this is the appendicular artery which is going to supply the appendix okay and the accessory appendicular artery which is also known as the artery of cecum which is arising from the ileocolic artery right so here we have seen that this is the appendicular artery which is arising from the inferior division of the ileocolic artery which is branch of superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric artery ultimately arising from the abdominal aorta right now what is the venous supply so we know that arterial supply so venous supply is again very easy so appendicular vein which is going to drain into the ileocolic vein an ileocolic vein going to drain into superior mesenteric vein and ultimately superior mesenteric vein which is going to drain into the portal vein so look over here here we have the appendicular vein this appendicular veins are draining into the ileocolic veins and this ileocolic veins are going to drain in superior mesenteric vein and ultimately it is going into the portal vein so this is the venous supply so what is the lymphatic drainage of appendix so the lymph from the appendix and cecum follows along the ileocecal vessels towards the root of the superior mesenteric lymph nodes so the appendix is drained into the appendicular nodes then it is draining into the ileocolic nodes and ultimately it is going into the superior mesenteric lymph nodes so this is the lymphatic drainage of appendix now what about the nerve supply so nerve supply of appendix is both sympathetic and parasympathetic it, the autonomic innervation of the appendix arises from the superior mesenteric plexus 
afferent sensory fibers from the appendix are carried on the sympathetic nerve fibers to enter in the spinal cord at T10 levels which correspond to the umbilical dermatomes so that is the reason when there is a appendicitis or there is inflammation of the appendix we have pain in the periumbilical area because of the same nerve innervations and obviously the parasympathetic supply is from the vagus nerve so this is the nerve supply of the appendix i wanted to add applied anatomy here so what is appendicitis so it is the inflammation of the appendix okay and you must know about the macburnis point so what is macburnis point yes macburnis point is represented by a point at a junction of medial 2/3 here and lateral 1/3 of a line which extend from the umbilicus to right anterior superior iliac spine and what is the importance of macburnis point so this point indicates maximum tenderness in a patient suffering from inflammation of the appendix so this is the important point you must know and the thing is about the appendicitis you must know about the causes what are the investigation of choice what is the treatment and what are the important points that we can say this is the appendicitis so this all the points i will cover in my next subsequent lecture on appendicitis so today we have discuss about the anatomy and here in the anatomy we discuss about the parts we discuss about the uh, morphology we discuss about the blood supply venous supply lymphatic drainage and the nerve supply so thanks for watching this video and stay tuned with the medicos thank you